Alright, so this is going to be a very basic uh, segmenting guide on Half-Life. So what you're going to need is this segmenting config right here. It's, it's a very basic config. But um, and then you also you're also going to need one more config, which is game.cfg, and we just want to put this command in here, s4v3, and uh, I'll, I'll show you that later, or what that does. So in this config, all you need to change is these two binds to whatever keys you want. Right now they're space and mouse three, and I'll show you what they do later. And then you want your uh, this is the only part that you need to change besides that. And this will record your demo, this is the name of your demo, and it will create a save, this is the name of your save. So, and this is the start of the segment, which we're just going to load this map to be the start of our segment. To end our segment, we're going to have to trigger this, and there's many ways to trigger that. Number one is on a trigger load, in your, in your game.cfg, if you go through a load, it will run this config. <coughs> and it will run the, the command which will end your segment or you can just run this command whenever you feel like it with a bind or you can create a custom trigger to do that so we'll just let's just go into the game really quickly you want to make this config separate from your auto config so just make this aaa.cfg that's what I do so I can quickly execute it so let's just go into the game auto execute and then execute aaa.cfg alright now let's go into the game now what's gonna happen you're gonna hit both your binds you're gonna hit one that will set up your segment and then the next bind will start your segment and now we are segmenting half-life now because we have the game.cfg if we go through a load zone which is coming up it will end the segment of course you can you can like I said earlier, you can put that in a bind and that will end your segment. So there we go. We ended the segment. We got a time, 18.713 seconds. Um, just open up your console and do this command again, which is S4V3, because sometimes it doesn't create the save. And this will make sure it does create the save. So now that, now that we've done that segment and we're happy with it, <coughs> we can go into the folder here. And we need to back up this demo file right here and the save so uh for example i when i was doing hlg this is the segments that we uh, i did and you're going to make sure you write down the segment time because if you don't write it down whatever it said in game uh you pretty much will not be able to get it unless you get a admin to tell you what the time of the demo is so make sure you write that down put it in the demo name even um so now that we, let's say we're happy with that demo or actually I should show you how to make the other custom triggers so let's let's redo that so space and then the other bind which was mouse 3 for me so let's say we want to place a trigger right here what we need to do is bxt uh, hud origin 1 I've already got that set up top left uh, top right and now we can see the player location. We just want to use these points in space to create a trigger. So let's say we, we start here. So what we want to do is bxt, oh, bxt trigger add, right? 116, 116, oh, 1191, 1191, negative, uh, let's crouch negative one two five negative one two five and then we want to do the other corner because this is like it's a uh, can't think of the name it's like a rectangle <laughs> 217 yeah I know this is a little bit annoying one two one 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 two one one and then let's create the other point at zero just up in the sky somewhere here we go now we have a custom trigger now right now it doesn't do anything, but what we can do is bxt trigger set command s4v3 like we did in the uh, game.cfg. So now that we've done that, if you want to give someone this trigger, all we need to do is bxt trigger export cmd 
and that will export the trigger that you can copy and paste. So if we bxt trigger clear, we can just paste that in and it will recreate it. So now whenever we touch it, it will end the segment. So let's let's do our segment. Let's say we're happy with that. 3.3, 6, S back up, back up your demo. Back up your demo, put it in a different folder, put 3036 or whatever the time was on the demo name so you don't lose it. Back up your save, which is right here. Back that up um, into a folder. And then we want to, let's say we want to go to the next segment. So what we do here is that now that we back, we pretend I backed it up. We want to get our save and we just want to do, instead of starting at the map load, we want to do load save name and then we want to increment these by one because now we're doing a next we're doing the next segment so now we save that go back into half-life run e x e c a a a dot c f g all right now we hit space and we do the next segment we can either create a trigger or for this one i'm just going to hit the map load This is a Steam version, so we've got B-Hop Cap. 15.3 seconds. Fif oh, make sure you write down the whole thing. 15.387. Go into here. Make sure you type in S4V3. Just to double make sure it saves everything. And then when we Alt-Tab, we should have our second save. So that's good. And we have our second demo. Of course, you can do that as many times as you want. Back up the saves. Make sure you write down the save time. And now, let's say we're done, we're happy. Now we want to play back the demos. Now we can just do play demo 000 dash proto. Obviously you can remove the, the triggers so we don't need to see them. And then the next demo, play demo 0001 proto. There you go boys, we're segmenting, look at that. Easy, easy, easy. I'm pretty sure I covered everything. Uh, I don't know what else I forgot. <laughs> but that should be it. That should be enough for you to segment and do whatever you need to be doing. All right, so thanks for watching.